Hello crafty friends, this is card number two in the full deck challenge two. Today's prompts are gold, stencil and texture paste, black splatter, butterfly. For my gold prompt I'm going to use this pretty napkin with the metallic gold spots. I found this napkin in the party aisle in our local supermarket. For my stencil I have this beautiful stencil that I will be using for the first time. It's from PM Artist Studio. I will put a link to their website below. And then I have some watered down black acrylic for my splatter. And for my butterfly, I have these black and white butterflies that are actually from a coloring in book. And I really liked that they were black and white, so I'm going to see if I can incorporate those. I'm going to start by adding the gold spotted napkin tissue paper onto the face of my card. And I'm just going to make sure that I have removed the very top layer. I want it to be super transparent, so I only really want the top layer. And I'm going to add this with Mod Podge. Once I've placed it down, I'm also going to add Mod Podge on the top of the napkin. This will just waterproof it and make it a little bit stronger. So when I add other mediums, it's not going to rip and tear. Once it's nice and dry, we're just going to trim off the excess. I'm just going to tear it. I like that rough, rugged look. You can also use the scissors if you want something a little neater. The next step is to do the stenciling with the texture paste. My texture paste brand is Lenny. I get it from my local hardware shop. And I found that this batch was rather thin. It was more like a gesso. So I just added some baby powder in there to thicken it up to make it the perfect texture that I like. So I'm just going to press that through my stencil with my palette knife. I'm not going all over the card, just more in the center. You can cover the whole card if you like, or just a section of it. And then dry that really well. I'm going to add some bright color to mine. I'm going to use this blue and green. These are color splash inks from Little Birdie Craft. The colors I'm using are Ocean Mist and Lime Splash. I'll put a link in the description below, and there's also a discount if you use my link. So I'm applying a few drops of the ink and then spraying it with water and I'm just letting it run over the texture paste. You can see it goes in between the grooves. I'm leaving some lighter areas, some darker areas. Just let the color do its own thing. Don't try and control it too much. You can also use a very wet paintbrush to help move the color along to some sections that you want and then dry well before you add the next color. You can also just use one color at this point if you want or up to three colors, uh, really whatever you want your card to look like. And what I do like is there where I have torn the edges, the color is picking up on those rough bits and sort of extending off the card, which looks really, really nice. Next step will be to add the black splatter, which I'm just using with really watered down acrylic paint and a small paintbrush. If you're on Facebook, do join our group there for the full deck challenge. All you need to do is search full deck challenge group. There you will find all the cards for the first challenge and then as we progress through this challenge you will see all the prompts. It's a lovely place where you can share what you make, you can be inspired, you can inspire and let your soul be happy. I'm going to fussy cut out all my black and white butterflies. I'm not sure yet which ones I'm going to use. I'm just going to cut them all out and then move them around on the card to see what looks best. I would also love if you subscribed to my channel. I have lots of content waiting to upload for you to see. And also don't forget to hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. My butterflies are ready. I'm just going to place them on the card, move them around a bit and just see which way I want to have them on my card. I'm feeling that the black and white is getting a little bit lost in the busy background. So I want to just anchor that butterfly down with a bit of black in the background. I'm using a piece of black from the actual coloring in page that I got the butterfly from just behind the butterfly and I think it just helps to sort of make it come into the foreground. It's not lost in the background. I've also added a piece of black thread that I've scrumpled up and put underneath the butterfly. That is sort of just to give it a bit of texture and then I'm gluing everything down with the hot glue. I'm going to add a sentiment and I'm thinking that perhaps for this entire challenge I'm going to add a sentiment on each card. Let's see how we go. I've got one that is black with white text which I think suits this card and also I'm balancing it out by putting it in the top right hand corner otherwise the butterfly at the bottom left makes it a bit bottom heavy. 
and I'm still feeling it needs to tie everything together so I'm taking a black fine liner pen and I'm doing a quick frame just around the entire card on the edge very freehand not straight and neat it's just hand drawn but I think that sort of brings everything together and makes it all one here is a close-up so you can see all the texture and the detail of my card Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to join in the full deck challenge. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.